welcome back to Nita and Sinead's weekly video and thanks for watching. This week we're really excited because we're going to talk about one of our favourite saws. It's called the Pocket Boy. Now this saw can be a little bit confusing because it comes in five different options, two different blade lengths for each option, uh, but it's such a cool saw, you're going to love it. Uh, now beginning when they first made the saw many, many years ago, they only brought it out in two options. Uh, so I think back then it was a black and a yellow handle, but don't, don't. Quote me on that one. Um, but anyway, the purpose when they made them to begin with was for the army. They wanted to make the smallest, most compact, most robust general purpose saw they possibly could that was in this tiny little little package. And that's exactly what they did. They hit the nail on the head. It is amazing. It is strong. And we've nicknamed it Little Giant because it really is. It's little, but it does the work of a giant. So we're going to get straight into it. We're going to break it down for you and help you work out which is going to be the best pocket boy for you, so you know tomorrow when you go out to get one, which one you're picking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so where do I start? Okay, mm. what do you have in your garden, basically? Um, say, say this weekend you're cutting bamboo, small branches, palm fronds. Um, say you do a bit of carpentry. Yeah, but mm. say that carpentry with, say you're building a model train. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just basically anything up maximum this size, you will be needing the beautiful purple pocket boy. I know it may look a little girly, but it is actually not purple. That right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it'll look, it'll look yeah. another color. it's about what it does. This this purple. <laughs> it is. It's not matter. Well, it's not what. It's not what is on the outside. It's what's on the inside, which in this case is the blade. <laughs> um, but this basically is like an alternative to a pair of secateurs. So as I was saying before, it does cut smaller branches, uh, palm fronds, um, carpentries. Um, even forests as well. Um, say you are doing a little arrangement for a resort or a hotel or something beautiful, maybe mm. you're doing something for a wedding. Might have driftwood in it or the narrow bamboo or even the bamboo like that. Yeah, I showed you. so having no. a extra fine tooth pocket boy with the mirror me tooth style will leave a nice beautiful clean cut making your French and arrangement just so beautiful but so it's it won't not splinter even... it won't tear it'll just yeah. give the most incredible smooth cut exactly yeah. but if it not even that like if you are cutting bamboo you are cutting dry dry wood smaller wood anything fibrous basically mm. um, an extra fine tooth will do the job nice and beautiful and plus like Anita was saying, it's available in two different blade mm. uh, lengths. So it's available at 13, so which then is that one? Boy, which is this small little guy, which I'll show you in my hand, like it's very, very little. Yeah. Um, and then it comes down, then it's big brother is 17 centimeters. So just a little... Couple of options. Yeah. <clears throat> and it all comes down to, um, to what you're doing, but we'll talk about that when we talk about a different two science. But this one, yeah. we're talking carpenters, florists, um, someone that wants an alternative to secateurs, it might be because you've got arthritis. Yeah. Or we've got a government house here in Brisbane, and I know some of the, the gardeners there, they use these on the rose bushes just to give that beautiful smooth cut. Doesn't squash the branch and cause dieback, so perfect. Yeah. Um, and yours, oh, um, plumbers, they've used them as well. PVC yes. pipe was brilliant <laughs> on PVC pipe. And I know my sister as well, she's done her purpose, um, not her business, her bedroom, like real rustic and edgy. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's actually got a lot of driftwood in her room as well, but when you are on the beach, it doesn't come in... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't come in the perfect yeah. size for the bedroom. So, yeah, she does, um, like, narrow it down a little bit. I don't know if you and my friends, they have it all hanging up in their rooms with, like, photos coming off it. So it's not just, like, your... Couple. So it's not the standard use, really. It's, yeah. it's sort of the alternative. So it's got a different couple of things. So, mm. But that saw is great for small branches, fibrous... Uh, materials, palms, brilliant palms, small palms. Yeah, there's a palm front, sorry, palm fronts, and they're an alternative <laughs> to a small secateur. Yes. But then jumping up tooth size, this is the fine tooth. Um, so that was the extra saw. fine tooth. This, this is the fine tooth. Five, yeah, sorry. So go blue handle for the next tooth size up. But then stepping back a little bit, say you are in your shop tomorrow. Um, this is what you'll be looking for, not this... As far as packaging goes. Yeah, far as packaging. Not this exact one, if you aren't looking for a blue one. But you are looking for its convenient little case. Um, so all of them come in this case. Yeah, which mm. is awesome, because once you open it as well... 
Doo -doo -doo -doo. It has its own little um, belt hoop as well to lick through pants, um, even strapped to the back of your backpack as well. Yep. Um, but going further into that one. But yes, basically this fine tooth one does everything that the extra fine tooth pocket boy, as I was just mentioning, but for much more larger. Um, so the next step up in size. Yeah, much yeah. more larger materials in a way. Um, it does, it can still cut carpentry, but it won't leave as a, as smooth of, smooth of a cut mm. <laughs> for the extra fine tooth pocket boy. A little bit faster cut, but yeah, it'll, it'll be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, um, great mm. thing as well if you are hunting, um, mm. will cut bone just yeah, so that's the, the difference with this one to the extra fine tooth, is yes. if you are after something to cut bone, this is 9 times out of 10, the one we'll recommend. Yeah. And again, two blade options, so that's the 17, also comes in a 13, but you're looking for a blue handle. Yeah, or yeah. if you are, some shops might have the yellow handle as well. So. But we won't talk too much about that, it'll confuse you. So you're after the yes. blue handle, fine tooth, pocket boy. Yeah. Yeah, so that's bone. Again, um, plumbing for your PVC piping. Also, sometimes electricians, you might be having to install some wires yeah. up in a roof and you need to just cut a little bit of a batten or something to get some wiring through. Brilliant, because they've also got that second setting, which allows you in those situations where it's an awkward angle to work really well. So all of them have that second setting option. Yeah. So, um, again, forests, again, um, alternative second tiers, but just a little bit bigger branches. Yes, yeah. um, I'll also show you, show you an example as well on what why you wouldn't use mm. a fine tooth saw on real green sappy wood as well. Um, I'll show you now, so saves you. Yeah, so the branch that Sh uh, Sinead's going to cut is about this size here. So yes. this is what she's going to show you the extra fine tooth will do um, if you cut a branch like this. Yeah. Gonna do so that. Japanese hand saws, uh, they all cut on the pull stroke. So the easiest way to remember is to cut on the pull stroke. So we start at the handle, so then your brain is getting that pull direction. Now this saw will cut through this branch, and as I said, it's about this size here. So it's a pretty decent branch, but the problem is it's going to take a while, and it's going to clog the teeth. Yeah, so it will feel like, once the sap gets caught into the teeth, it'll feel like you are literally cutting with a butter knife. It will still cut through, um, except... Um, and this wood, I think, is about, um, when did we bring this in? I think it was on Monday. Yeah. So it's um, it's dried out a little bit. So if it was more fresh, if it was straight off a tree, there would be more moisture in it. So it would clog even worse. Yeah, so worry. Yeah. So that is, I just thought I'd show you an example of that as well. Because sometimes mm. people get a little bit confused and think, oh, I can still use this as a general purpose saw. Um, it just won't feel like so I'm taking, I'm taking, trying to take the sap out of it now. And it's just... <laughs> So yeah, so, so that's fine, but if she continued to do that, that would get worse and worse and it would get yeah. more jammed in there and more jammed in there. And then when you go to clean it this afternoon, <gasps> you're, going to, you're going to regret cutting those big wet limbs with it. <laughs> do not bring that saw to me. Yeah. Okay. So if um, someone was wanting to cut that size timber, which of the pocket boys would be the one we would recommend? Uh, we would recommend the black handle pocket boys. Mm -hmm. Great for your fresher, greener wood basically. Um, so this is great if you are uh, camping or you're driving, uh, you're, you're uh, hiking, that was <laughs> timber, <the> timber. <laughs> <laughs> table just fell apart, no it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you can see there that it did cut a lot faster than the um, purple pocket boy because the there was more teeth ripping into it and just grabbing the timber making it Well nice. not so much more teeth but bigger teeth. Bigger teeth, sorry. Yeah, much bigger teeth. <laughs> and the big thing is this is what the blade looks like afterwards. Yes. So there's no wood stuck in there, I mean a couple of little bits here, but they fall out easy as. So that will do that over and over and over again at the same speed. Whereas the one where it's all clogged up is going to get slower and slower because the teeth are predominantly getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that was your black handle pocket boy. So jumping up to a step here. So the black handle has 10 teeth per 3 centimetres. I'm going to be jumping up a little bit more further to the large tooth pocket boy which has eight teeth per three centimeters. Um, and you can great thing about oh, first <laughs> 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 I <laughs> <make things break. laughs> Actually I'm gonna show you this <laughs> nice big lot that I'm sticking in. <laughs> yeah so these are called little giants for no reason like like they just have time to go to the gym this week so I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> um but where was I going with this? <laughs> 
thing as well that Japan has brought out a curved blade um, pocket boy with the same size tooth as the large tooth pocket boy as well. So give a quick overview of the curved blade. The curved blade is great for cutting above your head and below your waist. So that's the way your arm naturally moves. But I will show you Actually, so the, so the was, yellow and the red have the exact same tooth lines, don't they? But so yeah. great for fresher, greener, bigger. and bigger, basically. Bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to spice it up a little bit, and I'm going to use the curved. So away. ordinarily, people would laugh at us. We suggested that you use a tiny little 17cm saw to cut the branch that big. But you will see, I mean, I should have started counting how long it takes. <laughs> um, but you can see here, like, because it is, like, it will easily cut through anything and hardly any um, wood chippings left in the teeth as well. And you need it has the pieces. So this is yeah. the piece that Sinead's just cut, and we're going to do a close-up of it. Not only is this quite a large piece of wood, but also it just leaves the most beautiful smooth cut. So. If you're out bush and you're cutting out wood for firewood, you probably don't care how, how nice the finished cut is. But that actually shows you how easy it was to do that cut when it leaves that beautiful smooth cut. It's really easy and mm. effortless. So I was joking, she's still better go to the gym now because it wasn't hard to work at all. That's one, guys. No. <laughs> uh, but if you're in a home garden situation and you're cutting a branch off a tree that you still want, to be in your garden, um, whether it be that you know it's just growing in the wrong place, you're thinning the tree, for yeah. whatever reason, the tree is going to love you if you leave a cut like this because it can heal so easily. There's no yeah. lines dug, no water and bacteria is going to easily sit on that and infect the tree. So that is the perfect finished cut you want for a tree to heal over quick and easy. So yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Use this as a coaster. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't angular. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'll cut another one. You can yeah. have a coffee. <laughs> to rest on. Um, so yeah, that is the little giant range pocket boy, actually. Yeah, so we break so, it down. Red and yellow. Red and yellow size. is for green sappy wood. That's big. Big. And, and big. you can go bigger than this. Like, oh, was yeah. that hard to do? No, nah, not at all. Yeah. It's actually quite smooth. Yeah, easy. So you can go <laughs> much bigger than that with the red or the yellow. Yeah. If it's that size and down to about this size, you would need the black one. Black. And if it's under this size to about oh, sorry. this size, to that. You would need the blue yeah. handled fine tooth pocket boy. And if it's under that size, we're talking more like this and down to little finger. Purple. Purple. <laughs> now, we mentioned before these have two different blade lengths. So what's the difference? What, what weight difference are we talking? We actually, I weighed them just before the video mm -hmm. and the, the only difference between a 13 centimeter pocket boy and a 17 centimeter pocket boy is 50 grams. But if you are a high cool survivalist mm -hmm. and each gram is like the be all and end all, mm -hmm. then you would, then that's really the weight difference between the two. Yeah, so grams. it's a bit like us when we go traveling overseas and we're only given 20 kilos of luggage. Yeah, sometimes. Every gram <laughs> is important. So in the same situation, if you've got everything in your backpack, every gram is important. So you're yeah. going to save 50 grams. And we're not talking in the case, that was yes, weighed that was... just the saw on its own. Yep. You will save the weight of 50 grams if you go the 13 centimeter rather than the 17. So yeah, if that is important, then go the smaller size. And you can still cut, like the red one in the small size, you can still go through that, no problems at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Uh, and all of them have that, um, did we mention the second setting? We did, didn't we? So they yes. all have that <clears throat> second option. So really so, good. Yeah, so the easiest way to do it is pull it apart. Mm. Uh, but the same way you release it as well. Um, you Thumbs use always thumb, easiest. And then you just move it. Make sure it clicks in, that way you know that it's properly in its yeah. proper setting. And then that's great for cutting on flat surfaces. Yeah. <laughs> so you florists, you're often working on a bench, so yeah. handy for that. Um, yeah, anyone that needs to go flush to the ground, flat surface, that second setting is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Now, we, before we go, we want to talk about something quite important. Now, in a previous video, we talked about buying extra screws for your folding saw. So also, when you're looking at a pocket boy, if you are buying this to use, whether you're camping or whether you're just going, you know, trip around Australia and you might be in remote areas that don't have a silky dealer, if you lose those screws, it is a little bit of a problem because it's not easy to find these screws. So you really are best just to order yourself 
an extra set of screws when you buy these saws. And, and how much are they? Like it's really cheap. It's only like five, five fifty, five fifty, something yeah. like that. So for the extra five dollars, it, it's worth it hands down yes. because you will find these so handy that you won't know what to do without them if if you can't use it for some reason. So do consider getting yourself extra screws when you get the folding saws. And yes. also, it might even be worth considering getting an extra yeah. blade. Talking about blades <clears throat> with the pocket boys. Um, yeah. You can say, easiest way to explain it, they, each blade you can change it for another one. So say you do yeah, buy... So it handles interchangeable blades. Yeah, so you yeah. say you do buy a large tooth saw, but then you do like to do a little bit of carpentry work or you florist, whatever, you name it. You can well, even at Bush, we had somebody this morning who... Um, yes. Who likes to just just go and do a bit of tramping on the weekend but then he likes to build a small fire for lunch so he's not talking about big logs that are going to last all night he just wants a little fire to cook something on so he's only cutting little stuff like this mm. if you've got the red saw it's going to jump and vibrate and nine yeah. times out of ten you're going to cut your hand so you might want to switch blades not a good that. thing when you're out the bush <laughs> um but you can change the blades to it so say you are obviously you need a 17 centimeter blade for a 17 centimeter. Well you can actually fit the smaller one and the bigger but yeah. you can't do the other way around because the 17 won't fit in the 13 handle. Yeah. So it sticks out the end. So <laughs> super easy. Um, yeah it only takes a few seconds just um, something flat 10 cent piece screwdriver quickly move those screws and slot the new blade in really easy. Super easy. Great. Well thank you for watching, we hope that's been informative and as always if there's anything you'd like us to talk about please let us know, put something in the comment section or if there's something you'd prefer us not to keep doing, we apologise. Like uh, saying um and awesome up. And I'm working on not saying fantastic all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a great week and we'll see you next week. See ya.